everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art, and we're back today with another video. Thank you so, so much for joining me. We are ready to get started, and you know we like to get started right away. Well, we have a 10 by 20 inch canvas, and we have some Artist Loft um, floor acrylic black that we're going to be using as a base. And from time to time, I will take opportunity to start completely from the beginning sharing with you the blowout of the base color as well as the layering colors and so you probably have enough paint here to really do that so we're just going to move it around a little bit and then we're going to look for any uninvited guests as we do that and we will take our blow dryer and begin blowing it off the edges see here we probably have more paint here than we need so we're going to take and just use the run over to fill in cover up we're going to be doing a dutch pour today guys so won't be needing as much paint as we have here but we are taking advantage of what we have and getting it to cover up all the way around. Take one of our large spoons and take a little bit of this off. You can take your spoon or your spatula and go like this. You can see you got quite a bit of paint here. So I'm going to take that back up and put it into the container. Making sure that we don't have too much base paint because if you have too much base paint, it's going to interfere with your layering colors. And this spatula or spoon like this helps to give you that feel for how much you have and if you need to remove some. So we can afford to remove, remove some of this. So we're gonna do so. You don't need it too thin because if it's too thin, it will not blow well. If it's too thick, it will also not blow well. And if you have too much, it will blow over your layering colors. And after you've done this several times, you've had practice with getting a feel for how much paint you need, you kind of know. You learn to make that adjustment just by the feel of the paint. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth and leveled out and all of your sides and edges are covered and that you have an equal distribution of paint from side to side and edge to edge. Okay, so we're gonna get this taken care of. And so what do we have here today? Well, we're gonna try something a little new. New to me anyway, I always have some different color combinations. I have this Prussian Blue by Liquitex Basics, along with the Artist Loft Metallic Blue, and we have some 
Amsterdam Pearl Blue, and Liquitex Basics Turquoise, along with Arteza's Pearl Lime Green. That ought to be interesting. So my thought was to come this direction, that's just kind of like here, and then come back over that. So we'll see. Now that's going to be a little hard to see with the blue, uh, since it's dark, but we'll try it. It's kind of coming over here, and then, well, let's go that way. Let's go like that. Okay, we got a blue. We got another blue. And like that. Then we have this beautiful pearl blue, which is amazing. Okay, and our turquoise. And here's some excitement, this lime green. Let's get it open. And we will wrap back around with our Fresh and blue. All right, so that's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens with the dark. With the dark fresh and blue on top of these beautiful layering colors. All right, so. I'm going to try to pull in some of this here and then go back that direction. But we'll see how this goes. Let's try here. See if I can move this here. Now let's try on low first. Got a little twisted on my hair, my hair dry right here, so I definitely want to revisit that. But the general overall reaction here is this is just beautiful. Um, the Prussian blue has come through nicely on this canvas. I definitely would like to have this. There's some black in here, but I'm thinking I want to have some of this part uh, opened up. Okay guys, we're back because I decided I wanted to do something with this differently and use this as an opportunity to make an adjustment. Let's see where we have our spoon. Okay. Bring this in, bring some of this black in here. Really like 
like this color combination and it really was nicely put together. Let's see, we can take off the black on the blue on this side as well. Just put some here and bring it down. Let that run off at the edge here. There is absolutely nothing wrong with working your painting to your desire. That's what Love Your Art is all about, loving your art. Not having to concern yourself so much with whether other people love it, but do you love it? And we have to work at trying to get to that point. Sometimes we can't get there just in one experience. We really need to have to go through it with more than one. Time. Okay, I see a little low area here. So we want to put that. Let's do this. A little bit of this on there. I love, love, love this angle, and I'm going to continue to see what we can do with playing with this just a little bit. Okay. Level that out a little more. Right. Take the torch. Okay, so. We started with our uh, brush and blue. And my thought is to take just this corner and see what we can do to uh, really work this area. So I'm gonna just kind of squiggle it over like so. And I think we went, yes, this is the order we went in. We had our turquoise. Mm. And we had the pearl, lime green. And we wrap back around with our Beautiful Prussian blue. Okay. And what I try to do is see what we can do to really just complement this corner. A 
Oh boy, that's very pretty. All of those colors really show up nicely. I'm very pleased that I've done this because what I've seen here is a lot more of the lime green. There's the pearl blue um, that's going to get darker, pearl on the black. There's the cells from the uh, pearl blue and the combination of colors with the metallics and it has just really given it a, a corner um, I should say a corner of highlighting colors that are truly this side and now just in this section I love it lots of negative space inside really simply beautiful. Love this trickling of cells that have come down and how that came together so pretty. And we have a little black corner here not all the way blown over so we have negative space and the other colors are just gorgeous. I like it a lot. Here we are everyone with our close-up. This is the final adjustment that we've made and I think it's turned out much, much better than the first one. I love the separation with the negative space in between these two, these pieces where we've uh, put art, um, paint, I should say, on one section. I love, love, love the way that flows. And then to just, just capture this corner without going over to the edge like that. And you can see, look how pretty those colors are. The lime green, metallic blue, all of the beautiful colors that we put in there with the pearl blue, the um, Prussian blue, super pretty. I'm very pleased with that corner and the entire composition, much better. Thank you so much for allowing me to make that adjustment and share it with you. Ah, we did it. We'll see you next time. Bye now.